You're welcome to Chapter 4, Sources of Innovation, taken from our main topic, Technology Strategy for Managers and Entrepreneurs. Today's learning objectives defines a technological opportunity, how opportunities for technological innovation are generated by changes in technical, political, regulatory, social, and demographic it identifies the different innovational locations and explains how various institutions contribute to technological innovation. It describes the roles played by the public sector in the national innovation system. It identifies the different components of research and development. It describes the different ways that organizations link research and development activities. It lists the different forms of innovation. Finally, it interprets the effect of industry on the forms of innovation. Sources of opportunity. There are three significant sources of opportunity for innovation, such as technological change, political and regulatory change, as well as social and demographic change. All sources of innovation can operate separately or in combination. Technological change. This is one of the most important triggers as technological change enables people to do things that previously could not be done or could only be done in less efficient ways. Many technological changes do not make any innovations possible while others generate a multitude of opportunities. Finally, technological change can be delayed because Complementary technologies or technologies used alongside the core technology must be invented before innovations can be developed. Essential attributes of technological change. Technological change influences opportunities for innovation such as the magnitude of the change, the generality of the change, and the commercial viability of the change. Predicting the relationship between technological change and the opportunity for innovation is difficult because the relationship is not always one-to-one, -one, which leads to the creation of additional opportunities and it is really immediate. Political and Regulatory Activity Political and regulatory activities sometimes make innovation possible by providing subsidies that pass off the cost of innovation. It prompts the firms to create new products and processes to solve problems created by regulation. It promotes competition between firms. Lastly, it provides access to resources that permit the development of new products and services. Political and regulatory change. Political and regulatory changes can cause devastating effects on strategic plans. For example, elections occur regularly as new rules and regulations are presented. As we can see in the diagram, the baby seat can sometimes be located in the rear filler panel of passenger cars, and sometimes changes could be made and we can also find it located in cargo floor of station wagons or vans. Social and demographic change. These type of changes create opportunities by altering people's preferences and by creating demand for products that had not existed before, such as social trends, demographic trends, and shift in perception. Social and demographic change. Social and demographic change refers to the changes in people's behaviors, cultural standards, and physical attributes over time. The social media platforms above were used to measure these changes. Looking at the y-axis on the left, we can see social and demographic change starting from 0% all the way to 0.55%. We can also see on the x-axis at the bottom starting off 4th of March all the way to 28th of October. The social media platforms that were used is Facebook and second by Wikipedia and the third one is Photobucket and lastly YouTube. Facebook maintained its upward progression starting from 4th of March to 28th October. Wikipedia was second. It still finishes at the second position. Photobucket was third. 
but it finished at the last position. YouTube was last, but it ended up at the third position by 28th of October. As you can see, the changes between Wikipedia, Photobucket, and YouTube occurs right at the middle of the year. Combination Opportunities for innovation are often the result of many different types of changes. Centers for innovation. Business undertakes most of the research and development conducted in the United States. The government plays a vital role in the technology innovation process by conducting research, paying for research done by others, and serving as a lead customer. Individuals conduct much less technological innovation than they once did. Universities help farms innovate by training students, conducting research, and licensing technology developed by their faculty, staff, and students. Share of federal funding of different technical fields. The above chart focuses on government funding in the United States, but other countries' federal funding may differ. Looking at the pie chart in the diagram, we can see life sciences had their share of federal funding at 55% and we can see psychology at 2%. We can see physical sciences at 10%. Environmental sciences, they're 7%. Mathematics and computer sciences, they're 5%. Engineering, 17%. Social sciences, 2%. And finally, all other sciences are 2%. The rise of academic research. The graph shows that huge amounts of dollars have been budgeted for academic research in past years. Looking at the y-axis on the left, we can see it's starting from 00, 0 all the way to $250,000. And looking at the x-axis at the bottom, we can see that industry received the highest academic research, followed by colleges, followed by the federal, and lastly, non-profit. Research and development. Companies do create innovations through deliberate investment in research and development efforts designed to develop new products and services and new processes for providing them. Model underlying investment in research and development. The models underlying research and development investments are as follows. The first model is investment in R&D. The second model is technological invention. The third model is technological innovation. The fourth one is new or improved product or services. And finally, is value created and captured. Types of research and development. Number one is basic research. This is the effort to understand the technical or scientific principles in the field. The second is applied research. Applied research is the effort to understand technical or scientific principles with a specific commercial goal in mind. And lastly is development. Development is the effort to use technical knowledge to produce something of commercial use. Why farms conduct research and development? The number one reason is to create new technologies that provides the basis for new products and services. Second is to develop products to replace those threatened by substitutes. And third is to differentiate products from those of competitors. Fourth is to create strong intellectual property positions. And lastly is to absorb externally generated ideas. Top 20 Research and Development Spending Corporations in 2003 Looking at the list, we can see companies and the countries. We can see the R&D in millions and the years. And finally, we can also see the R&D as a percentage of sales and the years. First on the list is Microsoft from United States. Its R&D is 7,779 in 2003. Its R&D as percentage of sales is 21.1. .1. Second on the list is Ford Motors from United States. Its R&D is 7,500 in 2003. And its R&D as percentage of sales is 4.6. Third on the list is FISA from United States. Its R&D is 7,131 in 2003. 
its R&D as percentage of sales is 15.8% and so on and so forth. If you want to read more on these companies and their R&Ds, please have a look at the link below for extensive list of these companies with their R&Ds. Research and development intensity of different industries. Looking at the list, we can see the industries and the R&D intensity. We can see the first on the list is beverage and tobacco products. Its R&D intensity is 0.5. Second on the list is chemicals. Its R&D intensity is 5.6. Third on the list is computer and electronic product. And its R&D intensity is 9.3. Fourth on the list is construction. And its R&D intensity is 1.2. Fifth on the list is electrical equipment, appliances and components and its R&D intensity is 2.2. If you want to read more on the companies and their R&D intensities, please visit the link below and you'll find an extensive list of companies and their R&D intensities. Cost of research and development. The number one cost is that investment in basic research are uncertain. Secondly, the financial returns really occur in the short term Number three, almost all of the financial returns from R&D projects are generated by a handful of projects many years after the investments are first made. These costs also locks companies into strategies that are difficult to change. And finally, R&D investments are challenging to appropriate. Benefits of research and development. The number one benefit is income. Number one benefit for income is that unique products and services resulting from successful research and development projects can benefit the business financially. Another benefit for tax relief is that research and development tax relief can be claimed to reduce a company's tax bill. A benefit for competitive advantage is that through research and development, a company can gain an edge over competitors and establish itself as a market leader. Benefits on collaboration. Collaboration can be vital to any research and development project and is often crucial to success. Finally, is the benefit to reputation. Research and development can help strengthen a company's brand and reputation. Linking research and development. There are some difficulties in linking basic research, such as linking is not accessible due to research being undermined when it is closely tied to development. Employment is unappealing to researchers if they are required to spend too much of time on development. Transitioning technology from basic research to applied development is difficult and time-consuming. Finally, research scientists often have difficulty transferring information about their discoveries to development engineers. Encouraging productive links between research and development. One of the encouragements is by giving researchers financial incentive to work on projects that are aligned with development goals. Secondly, is to encourage research laboratories to use the same equipment and materials as product development laboratories. Thirdly, encouragement allows primary researchers to participate in development for a limited time when they first join the organization. Finally, it makes placement with company strategy a criterion for evaluating research funding requests. Relationship between technology and form of innovation. Number one, we have technological change. We start with genetic engineering. Its example of business idea is synthetic insulin. Its form of innovation is new products or services. Second is the internet under technological change. Its example of business idea is online pet food sales and its form of innovation is new method of organization. We look at refrigeration under technological change. Its example of a business idea 
is refrigerated ship and its form of innovation is new market. We look at computer under technological change. Its example of business idea is factory automation and its form of innovation is new method of production. And finally, we look at nanotechnology under technological change. Its example of business idea is smart paints and its form of innovation is new raw materials. Forms of innovation and technology strategy. Number one is innovation and technology strategy. This affects the value that can be generated and captured. And secondly, it also affects the ability to attract customers. Industry and nature of innovation. The nature of innovation varies across industries and it depends on the production process in an industry. Some of these processes are non-assembled, simple assembled and assembled systems. We have now come to the end of the fourth chapter. Thank you all and see you in the following lecture.